Well, what am I doing at this late hour? I've actually come home from work early because on the way to work, you see that, I'll prop that there <laughs> on my little lean to to take the front wheel off the ground because on the way to work, just joining the motorway from the big roundabout and the front end, and it feels a bit funny. And I just had the front brake on to stop at the traffic lights. And the bloody things are binding on on this right hand side. The left one was discoloured when I pulled over into a lay-by. And I spat on my finger and it wasn't well, just about warm. But this one was, I wouldn't say red hot, but you know, it had gone a funny purple colour and I couldn't even touch the calipers. What a tit. And coincidentally, I mean, there was loads, you know, we've had loads of bloody salt on the roads over the winter and it was even hailstone in three weeks ago. And there's still traces of salt and like a tit. I don't wash my bike that often, not in winter anyway. You know, I get settled inside with a nice warm cup of tea. <laughs> and uh, you don't really think of cleaning your brakes, get all the salt out. So, I've just uh, done the other one, and this one that was actually binding properly. They are very stiff. Not C, luckily, I mean the heat generator can really ice them up. So I'm using, it's all gone, the last of my gunk. Really good degreaser. I put warm water and... Uh, that's wash and wax from Aldi and I'm using a bracket not a screwdriver just to work the pistons in and out oh, don't damage your bloody surface yeah, they seem to be moving alright but the thing is at the roadside I had similar trouble with an Aprilia and had to ring the rocket centre and they came in a van. I do have breakdown cover but it takes two or three hours. And rocket centre said, 40 minutes, he's out on a job. So I rung work and I said, I'm going to be delayed, I'm going to be late getting in. He said, at two o'clock. And I thought, I'll try Philip Yule. So I rung them. I don't know where the van is, it doesn't work like that. You can't just call it out. I said, well, never mind then went back to my bike and it had cooled down I thought if and I wheeled it backwards and forwards and it did act, you know it wasn't fully seized like my Aprilia was my Aprilia were just locked up permanently I had to get a new master chamber a new caliper and everything and I thought if I don't use the front brake I can get to work and home again which is what I've just done with the back brake well the back brake feels crap but surprisingly the pads got plenty of meat on, only changed them last autumn. <coughs> the other stuff I've got is a muck off degreaser. It's not necessarily grease and ground though is it, it's bloody corrosive salt settled on the, the pistons I think. That's why I use the warm water and salt first. But let's, let this be a warning to you, always clean shite off after a riding. Well, I'm going to say including, but particularly if it's salt. That salt dust gets everywhere. So, is it the salt or is it the curse of Ralph? <laughs> uh, should I soak it overnight? I was actually going to... No, I can't do that. I'm going to say fill it in a narrow container. <laughs> fill it full of something like white spirit. I've got a big bottle of white spirit indoors. But there's a risk of fire, isn't there? Well, nothing to ignite it, but you never know. Don't to come downstairs to a smouldering wreck. Where's that racket there? This isn't ideal, but... Uh, not using a bloody screwdriver like some people do. And it's got leverage. <coughs> so 
Well, it seems narrow. Hmm. That went on easy. I'll put it on, pump the brakes, and then see if it's still binding. If so, I'll have to repeat this procedure. And maybe get a bloody taxi to work tomorrow. I don't fancy doing that. Where's a hole? I'll find it if there was hair around it. <coughs> An old fellow used to say to me. Whatever. Bloody thing. Silly really not cleaning your bike. If you use it for commuting. Silly. It could have been dangerous. I've always wondered what happened with that chap who was out on a ride off around the Lake District. This was about five years ago, I read it in the paper. Uh, and he said he was the back of the group. And suddenly, whoop, he just flew over the handlebars and his bike went ass about tail, you know what I mean? Cartwheeled. Dead. Broke his neck. And it said, uh, when they took the wreck away, they couldn't understand what happened. And I thought, well, if his brakes are seized, then cooled down and they got to the examination garage they wouldn't know would they unless the discs were discoloured and purple maybe you've been down a big hill with the brakes on you know what I mean and there's something that's happened seized and wallop so always maintain your brakes I remember seeing Phil 480's video when he didn't tighten the bloody nuts up to the correct torque and it came loose on the road Twerp. So we should always check. That's just guessing. I should use my torque wrench really, but I don't know the torques. You can't go wrong with a good guess though. You don't want to strip the blade threads. Right. <laughs> well, like I said before, I'm off next week, so I'm there. <laughs> That's what I'm doing next week, changing the spark plugs, re-routing a new clutch cable. Checking Bandit Neb's advice, and he said just tape the new one on the end of the old one, pull it through, this tricky bit, between three and four injectors, and then pull it through here and wallop. <coughs> but uh, I think I need new rear pads, but the front ones seem okay. Anyway, that's it for now, and I thought I'd mention it. I'll leave it till tomorrow when the same things happens again. What if? <coughs> Not much else I can do besides wait, but that stuff work its way in. Should give it a final squirt. In there. Excuse me, gum cup. This stuff is really super flammable, as I found out. I was burning some old damp wood in my chimney and kept going out, so I squared you some of this on and woof! I lost my eyebrows. <laughs> Must be salt dust, can't be anything else. This look a bit worn and scored. But the price of new discs sell for £100 pound each. It's uh, Demon Tweaks. That's for pattern ones. I bet genuine Honda 
Cause more than the bloody bikes work. So hopefully this will work. Alright, I'll go and wash my hands and put the kettle on. Should have got this. <coughs> They're selling motoring stuff at the moment and bike stuff at uh it's Aldi. This is only two ninety nine. Kynoba, wash and wax, three litres. And they're selling a solar powered battery charger which is only two point five watts, like a trickle charger. So we've got some leather motorbike jackets in, although they're munskin sizes. Some cruisers, boots, crappy gloves. But, uh, like I said, this is good value. It's in the car shop, it's like 10 quid for something that size. It is a bit watery though, I poured it on initially. Then some warm water with some mixed in, half an hour later. And finally spraying this gunk on. So like I said, that's it for now. <coughs> Wash my hands. Alright, bye for now. Thanks for watching.